Wow, well, here we are. Practice test number five. Number five, the home stretch. We're almost there. You just got to hang on with me because uh, before you know it, we'll be at the final exam. And then you're finished. Intermediate algebra. Check it off in the bag. No more intermediate algebra. But you're going on to bigger and better things, no doubt. So whether that means college algebra for you or statistics, uh, your math career is hopefully just beginning. And this course is such a great uh, introduction and foundation to everything that's going to come after it. So hopefully you, uh, you are enjoying uh, the course. Hopefully you're learning a lot because I'm telling you, you know, sometimes I think the, the name of this course, Intermediate Algebra, is a little deceiving in that this is a really difficult course. There's a lot of material, and the reason that it's difficult and that there's a lot of material is because, as I just said, it really is the foundation for everything going forward. And uh, you're going to see so much of what you learned in this course over and over again come up in higher level math courses. And uh, if, if you're able to really feel comfortable with it now, you're not going to struggle with it uh, later. And so that's why this is such a critical course for students. And uh, I really appreciate all of your hard work. I know a lot of you have been coming uh, into the SLC, into the past lab. You're staying on top of your homework. You're doing what uh, you need to do to be successful. And that's so important in this class because, again, um, this is just uh, the beginning for, for so many of you. And I'm excited for uh, what, the, what the future holds for you. Uh, but at any rate, let me uh, go ahead and tick off the, uh, the little uh, housekeeping notes, as I always do. Right? You're probably sick and tired of hearing this. But it's my job right, to, uh, to annoy you with these directions. And, uh, again, make sure that you're doing your homework. Make sure that... Uh, you understand that these videos don't take the place of going to the lecture, going to class, actually doing the homework. Make sure you're doing the practice test three times we recommend, right? The first two times you do it, you want to make sure that you're uh, utilizing all the resources available to you. So whether that means your class notes or your textbook or you're in the past lab or the SLC or doing it in a, in a study group, whatever that looks like for you. Those first two times you sit down and do the practice test, that's what you want to do. And then that third time you step, sit down and take the practice test is when you want to sit down and actually pretend that it's test day and you want to um, sit down without textbook, without notes, without any help and see how far you can get through the practice test without struggling. And uh, once you're finished, those sections that you did actually struggle with are the sections that you're going to want to go back and review, the sections that you are easily able to uh, run through without any trouble, well, those are probably sections you may not necessarily need to spend as much time on. And so, again, I've said this <laughs> now five times, right? Practice test number five. These practice tests were designed with the actual test in mind. And so, for those of you who are utilizing this practice test, uh, you have come to, to recognize and know the importance of them because if it is not on your practice test, you are not going to be tested on it on your actual exam for those of you who are in a pass course. So uh, just keep that in mind and uh, we want you to be successful and utilize all the tools and resources available to you. These videos being just one of many different resources. So uh, please make sure that you are utilizing them uh, along with all of the other resources available to you. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop here and jump right into the actual questions. As always, if there's anything I can do to help you, uh, please don't hesitate to come visit me in LL237. Uh, make sure you're utilizing the PASS Lab, the SLC, if you're on uh, a campus other than the Gardens campus. Or, hey, even if you are not on the Gardens campus and you want to come up and visit us at the Gardens campus in the PASS Lab, we'd love to have you. We'd love to see you. Uh, LL237, second floor of the library. Big, beautiful lab there for you, exclusively for intermediate algebra students. So you'll be feeling right at home. There won't be anybody in there who's working on anything else. It's strictly intermediate algebra. So it's a great place to meet new friends and actually maybe form a study group, right? We've got finals coming up. It's a crucial time, and you want to make sure that you are successful on that final. All right. Um, again, I'll go ahead and put my email address in the uh, the description of this video, and it's certainly also listed on um, the college's website. You can go ahead and just search for my name, uh, but it's also listed on our YouTube channel. 
uh, the actual the you know the about section if you if you navigate to the YouTube channel. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end here, even though I already said that, but uh, I mean it this time. All right, best of luck to you, and I will see you guys around.